Well, Sobremesa, a memoir of food and love in 13 courses, is a story of abuelas, mothers, and daughters who live between the Argentine Pampas and the U.S. Prairie. It's of culinary time travel, the food they cooked and ate together, the places it took them, not to mention grief and loss, of the dishes that form their kitchen arsenal and help them transcend family conflicts and tragedy. Sobre Mesa is of romances gone south and family secrets buried, meal after meal under freshly starched and pressed linens. It's equally a story about belonging to oneself, to two countries, to the legions of ghosts and ancestors who are always at the ready to be conjured back in mind through taste and smell. Sobre Mesa is about second and third chances. It's my story. I was raised both Josefina and Josephine, straddling two cultures between America's city of bridges, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Argentina's endless yawning plains. Gathering around a table of eight, plus two for my abuelos, was how I learned to make sense of the world. The good, lo malo, the beautiful, lo feo. Alfredo and Dorita, my maternal grandparents, were an integral part of our family. Growing up, they became my Argentina. With the exception of the choripan and the occasional frozen chicken a l'orange lean cuisine, our childhood home was not a grab-and-go sort of place. Instead, day after day, year after year, we pledged allegiance to sobremesa, the lesser-known ingredient of our deep south Argentine cuisine. Sobremesa brought out the funny and the least funny of us. Jokes never landed better than when your tableside audience was well-fed and, well, preferably a bit boozy. All the while, conversation rolled on, stories, memories, both painful and pleasant. This is Sobre Mesa, when chatter and laughter, memories of past lives and past loves, are served up as a final course, rounding out the meal, nourishing families, individuals, and culture. In Argentina, it's even thought to be necessary for proper digestion. Sobre Mesa richly infused my upbringing. It set the table for a future I never saw coming, like the legions of ghosts and ancestors who frequented our family dining room, offering up crumbs of information here and there. Morsel by morsel, I savored each moment until they became imprinted on my taste buds. Even all these years and decades later, Sobre Mesa continues to be an indelible force in my life, eventually inspiring my slow food culinary memoir that takes readers with me through a car crash that for all intents and purposes should have ended my life at just 16. A devastating heartbreak in my early 20s that upended my world and led me back to the home I never knew on the riverbank of El Rio de la Plata. A forbidden transcontinental love affair that made me choose between here and there. And life-changing losses that inspired a second act in my early 40s after leaving an almost 20-year career to make Dulce de Leche. While Sobre Mesa is my story, I hope some part of it is yours too. Maybe you have your own abuela whose spirit comes alive in its pages, or like me, you are bicultural. Perhaps you're in the midst of taking a chance on a second act, whether in love or professionally, or quite possibly, you're simply looking to take your seat at Sobre Mesa's endless table where everyone is invited. Won't you join me at mine?